Kim Pang Mot is an essential part of Kim Pang Ten Festival and has been recognized as a national intangible cultural heritage. The ritual involves praying for peace and prosperity for ethnic Thai people. It's performed by the white Thai people in Mung Lai Town, Địa Biên District. My family has been performing the Kin Pang for three generations. We shaman often perform spiritual rituals to pray for health and prosperity. Tang Ko is a ritual closely connected with Thai women's beautiful long hair. As a tradition, when a Thai woman gets married, her hair will be tied up high above her head as she will keep that hairstyle for the rest of her life. The Tang Kou hairband is a symbolic ritual of the Black Thai ethnic group in Sunla province, which differentiates married women from those who are unmarried. The Sep Bok Mei festival is held to express Thai people's gratitude to their ancestors, who came up with embroidery and needlework crafts and taught generations of the people. Through the festival, a typical day in the life of Thai ethnic people is reenacted. After a busy year, Sep Bok Mei festival offers Thai people a chance to meet up and relax. Thai people in Mong Sao Komen from Thu District, La Chiu Province, are renowned for the Kin Lo Khlo Mo Festival, which is also known as the Young Rice Festival. The festival is held annually to pray for favorable weather and bamboo crops. Despite being scattered across the country, Thai people in Vietnam still share a lot of traditions and customs. Through the reenactments of these festivals, Thai people have proven their determination to preserve traditional values amid modern life.